Hey everyone, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. And today I'm actually talking to Tom from Tab Nation. Um, Tom, I, 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 I do a lot of searching on YouTube um, anyway, and I, and I often see other people doing auto hockey stuff and I happen to stumble upon your channel. And then I saw on Reddit your post to your website. So I was checking it out. What's your uh, domain again? I'd say tabnationcoding.com. No spaces or anything in there. Cool. And then why don't you give me a little background about yourself, how you came to be using AutoHotKey and, and your usage and stuff. Yeah. Um, I've always been around coding. You know, my dad did a lot of it. So I've always had an interest and I'm a big gamer. And uh, I would sometimes Google like scripts, you know, how to automate something in a game. I would download people's scripts, try them out. And I kind of was able to like adjust little things like, okay, I see send sleep. I could adjust those. But the funny thing is like, I never actually knew what this code was. I, I didn't, I never heard of auto hockey and it was like this for years. I was just using random people's scripts, having no clue what I was doing in this code. Awesome. Um, and then I ended up getting um, a job where I currently work and we had this tool we use. I mean, we use this thing like a hundred plus times a day. It was automation found out uh, that we actually coded it inside of our actual department. And I was like, oh, that means we can, you know, add to it. So uh, another funny part of the whole story was I went to the head of the departments, two of them, pitched some of my ideas. They're like, oh, these are great. These are really cool. My first script I had created for the demo was literally just all like sin commands. <laughs> I didn't know anything else outside of like sins and that was it. Yep. But the demo worked, uh, you know, it showed what my idea was. And they were like, oh, these are great. So uh, do you want to take over this whole project? And I kind of just was like, sure. I, I, I didn't even know what the code language was called. So they told me, you know, oh, it's auto hockey. So I spent like the next two weeks really just diving into anything I could watch, read. It's how I actually found your channel is a few of your videos I started out with. So that was pretty cool. Uh, to be talking to you today. Um, I don't think my boss even knows that to this day that I, I literally didn't know it and I accepted the project. So at least awesome. it played out pretty well. And uh, ever since then, I just really got into it. Uh, the pandemic ha happened. So I got really bored. That's how I found the Reddit auto hockey page and just really enjoyed answering questions. I was learning new stuff, uh, you know, just Every day I learned something new, even after years of working with auto hockeys. It was you still do. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Absolutely. absolutely. It, yeah. You can know every command and not know how something, you know, works or something because you just never had an opportunity to play with something like that. So it was really cool. You know, that's really kind of how I slowly got into auto hockeys for years, not even knowing what it was, even though I was using it apparently. <laughs> that's awesome. And then why don't you discuss a little bit about what you what you're at least currently and maybe in the future planning to do on your channel? Yeah, uh, it originally started. I actually didn't plan to make a YouTube channel. I was on Reddit, and a common question that was always being asked was how to automate Chrome. You know, people are moving away from Inner Explorer. Comms are kind of out the door, so you always get the normal answers, Selenium, that kind of stuff, and. I just was kind of like, you know, I work at a company where you can't do that stuff, you know, because of the IT security and stuff. I, it's a bear. Yeah. yeah, it can be rough. <laughs> I mean, I understand why they have all that security, but if you're yeah. trying to do something like in my position, it's uh, definitely a challenge. And I randomly came across this idea on another way to do it that I don't think I've seen anybody else ever mentioned or anything. So I would constantly reply back to people, well, you can do this, you can do that with an extension. And I got kind of tired of <laughs> answering that question so many times. So I was one day, I was like, I'm just going to make a video. And so I made the video, I uploaded it. It actually did really well. I was like, maybe I'll make a few more. And it kind of expanded from there with mostly just like intro videos. But recently, I've definitely found myself really enjoying going back kind of to my origin story with auto hockeys is just gaming. Uh, you know, I'm a big gamer. And, you know, I'm not trying to cheat or anything, but when I'm playing a game, I, I kind of want to skip the boring parts that are repetitive, grinding, all that, and kind of move to the fun stuff. You know, that way I can get on to the next game because I'm all constantly looking for that next game to play. So I really enjoy using auto hockeys there. Uh, it seems like a lot of people like those kind of videos. So 
still going to do all the basic intro stuff. That way, if people do like my gaming scripts, they at least have a foundation on how to, you know, make it work for them. Maybe I'm demoing this in this game, but you're like, I want it to work in this game. Well, you can still watch the intro videos, get an idea of how to move that gaming script over. But yeah, gaming's definitely my passion with all that stuff. I love doing that kind of stuff. Awesome. And remind me, I, I think it is, or, or no, is it Tab Nation is the name of your channel? Is that right? Yep. On YouTube. Now, we'll, I'll put a link in the description um, and on the first comment on this video so people can get to it there. Uh, and then I think also you have a, you're starting like a newsletter, right? Of at least, or at least email, collecting email addresses. So yeah, yeah. Um, right now it's just kind of a collection thing. Um, don't really have a schedule. I think it's going to be once a month, at least for the start, till I kind of get a flow of it all. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm just kind of collecting, seeing what I can get to a comfortable number where I think it's about time to start sending stuff out. So hopefully in the next like month, I'll be doing that. Cool. So I'll, I'll put it, I'll try to get a link from you for that as well and put it in the description. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and keep this one short. I just wanted to introduce you to people. And, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that, that, you know, my subscribers and stuff watch my channel, but it's, as I've talked to a lot of other people with auto hockey, auto hockey is such a big pie and in, in we're all like, we're not competitors, right? Like there's, we can, both of us can keep making videos like crazy. It's not going to eat into each other. So this is why I love promoting other people and just getting the word out. Right. It's, it's a great way for everyone to learn. And, and, you know, I, and the thing is, Hey, I watch other people's channels too. Not, not because I want to see what they're doing and steal their ideas. It's because, which we were talking about this before we started was just talking to other people about how they do stuff and they use things in different ways. Right. Like it's, it's uh, it always comes up with new things. Like even like I know I spoke to you before. I don't really do gaming with auto hockey, but I don't mind watching the the gaming videos because the concepts that they do, I can think about how you know someone's used auto hockey in that way and apply it to something I'm doing. Right. So um, it's there's always things you can learn. It just makes it where you have to be a little more abstract and understanding and you know what they're actually doing. Oh, but yeah. yeah, there's there's things you can learn just by you know. Listen, listening carefully, I was actually on a call the other day with someone, and uh, he he was we were troubleshooting something, and he's talking out loud, and uh, and I'm like, dude, you just you just explained to me, you just said why it doesn't work, and he's like, what? I'm like, I was listening, <laughs> you know, and he, and he was the one talking, but it was funny. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just a good listener, anyway. Um, so it's great talking to you, Tom. Um, yeah, talk on your channel, and uh, and for those of you also, we we had planned, we're just not doing it right now, but we're going to do um, at least a couple collaboration videos, talking through some stuff, so that'll be fun. Sure thing. Cheers, man. Definitely look for that. See you guys.